Hey, 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 good morning, everybody. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Doing well, man. You know, it's Monday morning here. Uh, it's Our weather is better than yours today, so that's oh. a nice change of pace. Um, but uh, yeah, nice little, you know, kind of brisk, sunny Colorado morning here. Can't complain too much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could say the same. It's in mid-Missouri, uh, it's uh, heavy winds, rain, and dark clouds. And I think it's 52 at the current moment in time, so it's chilly. Okay. Um, hence, hence the jean jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looking very much uh, the boss right now, man. Yeah, there you go. There you go. How um, was Thursday? Uh, did you get? Uh, did you guys? Did you talk to your mom? How how did all that go? I did talk yeah. to my mom and my mother in law. They're both doing yeah. well. Both both out west on the west coast. But uh, yeah, they both had great days planned, um, which was nice. Mm -hmm. Stephanie and I did some errands with uh, Sophia, so nice. she's a dog mom. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we did that. So I thought today we'd have a short just conversation on a great ninja tip. So one of our ninja partners out there did a tip this morning and. Um, I kind of resonated with it a little bit. And really, it's about how I remember it when I went through Ninja. Really, the topic was, it was called an I'm sorry letter. And the letter was something to this spirit. I'm sorry, I've, I've been a horrible communicator. I've not stayed in touch very well, you mm -hmm. know, and I want to rectify that. I'd love to you know, connect with you, get together, understand what's going on with your family, with your job, all these type of great things, right? Um, but I just want to throw it out there as an acknowledgement, if you will. So um, I know we emailed that out. Did you have some thoughts on that today? Yeah, you know, and it's a great tool. And it, it's it's funnily enough because of the message of it is something you kind of forget about, right? Like, yeah. And, yeah. and I think it's a great tool for a couple of folks, right? I think if you're brand new, um, it's a great tool to connect with people. Maybe you built your sphere off of uh, a combination of like family and friends and like a past job. Maybe you were um, kind of working in a different capacity uh, in real estate, and now you're kind of into the, um, you know, the, the sales uh, transition, right? So maybe, yes, yeah, so maybe your relationship has changed with these people, um, and you need to kind of, you know, go that route of reintroducing yourself as a realtor, right? So I think it's a really great tool for that. That might need a little massaging, as you can imagine, but at the end of the day, right, like whether whether you're in real estate or whether you're just trying to be a really conscientious friend, family, or coworker, we right. probably have all fallen short of like our communication goals. Like, I mean, how many of us say, oh man, I haven't talked to my old man in X, Y, Z weeks. Oh, I haven't called my brother and my sister in ABC weeks, right? And those are some of our closest family members speaking in general, right? So I think that we could probably, you know, building the skill set and kind of going through that process is really, really good. So I think a new entry into the real estate industry is a great time to use that sort of, you know, I'm, a, I'm sorry, letter, apology letter kind of thing. Um, I think if you're in a position where you're changing um, changing brokerages, it's a good position to do that too, right? So you can that way you can kind of reinform, reintroduce yourself to the public again, help make that transition a bit easier, and then it doesn't make it you know it, it makes that process of introducing yourself a little less awkward. You can say like, oh hey, I was you know here and now I'm over here. Here's an opportunities. I'm really sorry, you know, I lost in the transition, but I'm back now. Is there any way I can help you out? You know how how have you been? Right, that kind of a thing, right? And it can be a little less self-serving in that manner. I think oftentimes when we make transitions, whether it's into real estate or to a different company in the real estate industry, we post up this big, you know, uh, hurrah, semi self aggrandizing message out there, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I do think it can appear like a little unnatural if you're not kind of doing that thing all the time anyway. Um, so I think this is a good way to kind of articulate that point in a way that's really, you know, uh, more coming with a little more humbly. Uh, and just reintroducing yourself and saying like, hey, sorry about, you know, whatever shift in our communication was in the past, but here's what's going to happen going forward. So, and then obviously, if you're a person who's trying to like reignite your database, maybe you had a life change. Um, like I think about, you know, like when I had to take a little time off when we had Calvin, I think about, you know, uh, obviously my wife took a little more time off than I did, right? I think about if some of us are having to care for sick family members or we do have, you know, it's not uncommon for us in real estate to kind of shoulder some of those um, more time and you know, awkward timing things. Like if you have a young one at home, it's not uncommon for us to shoulder some of those activities while our spouses or partners return to their normal jobs that have more restrictive time frames. So it's really easy in those circumstances to like lose traction a little bit, right? So you flash forward to, you know, when your kids, you know, three, two, three, four going into daycare or four, five, six going to kindergarten. Now is a great time to say like, hey guys, so sorry about that. You know, I'm back in now. Hope you got my Christmas cards. Here's where I'm going at going forward, right? So I think there's some really good opportunities. Those are kind of the big three that I think of. Right. Um, but obviously, if you are at a point where you're reflecting back and it's like, man, I need to step up my transactions. Where's my biggest hole? 
it's probably communication, <laughs> you know, if we're being honest, right? It's you know, I, I don't know very many realtors that are doing a great job of connecting and growing their sphere that aren't experiencing some level of success, right? So yeah, it's it's a great way to self-reflect and to kind of reintroduce yourself to the public in a way that's humble but productive. You know, you right. don't want to cower, but you want to be realistic too. Right. I, I agree, man. So I tell you, so guys, um, you know, we'll kind of leave you with this for a ninja tip. You know, we have to own it. We have to acknowledge the absence, right? Mm -hmm. Why don't you guys say I'm sorry and move yeah. on, right? So hope this was helpful for a ninja tip. Uh, Andrew and I were hoping to come up with these little little five or 10 minute uh, deals from time to time. If you've got things you'd like us to discuss, please feel free to make a comment or contact either one of us. Cool. Hey, thanks guys. Thanks for sitting in. Uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Thank you.